Hope you can see the building by the way. Am I pointing the camera high enough? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I went to my first ever kilo sale and this is the video so if you've clicked on this video um, yeah I'm not going to mention the name of the kilo sale um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm in a cathedral with about three, maybe 400 other people. And I am trying to find some deals. So this is a kilo sale. If you don't know what a kilo sale is, basically you pay per kilo of clothing. And they give you a big sack and you fill it up with all the clothing that you want and then at the end you go put it on a scale and they basically charge you uh, this one was charging 15 pounds per kilo and they had a loyalty card and if you buy 10 kilos uh, on the day or over however many times you go back um, over the years if you fill out that card and on i think after the 10th kilo uh, you get one kilo for free i didn't know that at the time because i did end up buying 5.8 kilos i believe I think that's what it was and it worked out about 80 something pounds uh, for what I picked up which wasn't too bad uh, but yeah I was filming in here and I had my chest mount on and a big puffer jacket so it was quite hard to keep the jacket out of the way of the camera because uh, there was lots of staff walking around and at the time I wasn't sure whether I was allowed to be recording or not there was no uh, sign saying do not record but it was in a cathedral so I was a little bit unsure whether that was okay um, yeah it wasn't okay and they told me to stop recording however they didn't ask me to delete the footage uh, so I've still made a video but I am withholding the name of the sale just you know so they don't get angry at me um, but yeah if you look close enough you'll probably see their name around in the video anyway uh, but yeah like I said this was my first ever time doing a kilo sale and I was expecting there to be a lot of jerseys there I have seen a lot of other videos on YouTube about kilo sales and uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, like cycling jerseys which I'm kind of into right now they're doing really well on my store recently so I was all up for running over to the cycling jersey section and just basically buying all the good stuff but Alas, there was no cycling jersey rail, which was kind of disappointing. Um, but yeah, I just picked up what I thought was decent at the time uh, and put it in that bag. I did obviously double check that stuff wasn't damaged and broken and stuff like that. Because you don't want to be paying for clothes and when you get home, everything's broken. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of an experience. I don't know whether I'd rush to go back again. Now, there's a lot of money to be made here, don't get me wrong. If you know what you're doing, there's obviously people that were there that knew exactly what stuff uh, was great to grab and they were running around like headless chickens. Um, me, I've only really been doing clothing for, you know, maybe six months. I didn't really do it before, about six months ago at all. So it's kind of new for me doing the clothing and getting into the vintage kind of stuff as well. Uh, I'm pretty much novice tier. Uh, when it comes to that and I don't mind admitting that so yeah for me it was kind of a bit overwhelming um, yeah I clearly didn't fit into the uh, target audience either everyone was wearing like clothes from the 80s and 90s in there uh, baggy jeans and um, bright colored clothing from the 90s stuff like that flares um, blue hair purple hair every color hair in the rainbow, I guess you could say, and there was me uh, in my 
parka jacket. I guess that's kind of 90s, maybe. I don't know. Um, Oasis inspired, I guess. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, just, you know, at the rails, picking, putting stuff back. It was kind of a fight with the people that were there. They, they let so many people in. Honestly, I didn't realise how many people were going to be there. Uh, they let so many people in, and both the side of the rails were obviously able to be picked from. Um, so you're just like fighting against 20 other people on the same rail, like pushing clothes up and down. It's actually really difficult to, um, you know, find stuff on these rails just because of the amount of people that are like pushing um, the stuff that's there. But it was an experience, it was fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know whether I'd be rushing to go back anytime soon. Maybe once a year, twice a year maximum, I would say. Uh, a smaller venue, this was a really big cathedral. There was hundreds of people in there, like I said. Maybe if there was like 50 to 100 people at a time, perfect for me. You get over 200 people and it's kind of like a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty well. Like I said, I spent about £80. I will have some footage at the end of the clip showing exactly what I got. I'm going to edit it down because the recording was about 40 minutes. But I go over everything. Um, I did include some projections on what I thought stuff would be worth, but not actual prices. Because it's quite hard to find actual sale prices of a lot of this stuff. Because, obviously, it's not in abundance these days so it's all like kind of made up anyway and then you just it either sells or it doesn't if it doesn't you lower the price um so yeah if i do mention prices don't take them as definite because they are just projections um but yeah this jacket was pretty nice had an uh, italian football team it looked to me like a manager's jacket so that's what i listed it as um but yeah there was a lot of music playing as well, so the audio in the background has been turned right down for copyright reasons. Um, but yeah, I think Johnny spent maybe like 55, 60 pounds, I spent 80 pounds, so um, he only got about 4 kilos and I got nearly 6 kilos worth of stuff. So I got quite a bit, I think it ended up being like 10 to 15 items. No, it was more than that. I can't remember, no, was it? Yeah, maybe 10 or 15, something like that, I don't know. Some of the stuff maybe I shouldn't have picked up, but some of the stuff um, I'm really happy that I did. Uh, I didn't actually end up buying any t-shirts whatsoever. I mainly bought jackets. Actually, that's all I bought was jackets uh, in the end. But yeah, this is coming up to the end of the footage where they told me to turn off my camera. So we're going to head over and take a look at the stuff. Right, everybody, we are back from the Kilo sale. And as you can see, I have my pile of clover now this came to 5.8 kilos i believe for this little pile yeah can you imagine 5.8 kilos for this little pile and that worked out at 88 pounds i believe for this pile so yeah don't think you're gonna go there and get like a massive bag full for like five kilos unless you do t-shirts i guess or like racing jerseys but they didn't really have anything like that there today. Unfortunately, I was going there looking predominantly for the cycling jerseys, but alas, they didn't have any. So this is what I managed to get. And hopefully you would have seen that from the footage. Uh, so yeah, it was my first time going to a kilo sale, mine and Johnny's first time going. Uh, so I didn't really know what to expect other than there's going to be a rack of clothing and you can pay for it uh, by the weight. So yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're going to work our way through this pile. Um, I don't think there's too many items. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven clothes plus a jacket at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, we're going to work our way through. I'm going to get the mannequin and try and put it on there so we can do an in-depth view. See if we can find any issues. I did go through these while I was there to make sure I wasn't buying anything that was broken, damaged or anything like that. But I've not fully gone through them since I got home and I'm in my own environment. So maybe I've missed some stuff. So we're going to go through that. Uh, I'm not really going to make predictions on what I think these are worth. Uh, because they're very hard to check their worth. Because they are so old, a lot of them. They're, I do have some modern stuff in there as well. But the older stuff, because there's just like no sales available to check with. Um, I don't know what they're worth. But I will tell you what I'm predicting i'm going to list them for 
which is different because obviously they may sell well under or they may be worth way more and I'll never know because it will sell really quickly or whatever. So uh, I'm not going to give like price tags of what they're worth, but more so what I'm going to be listing them for. Okay, so I'm going to get the mannequin um, and yeah, let's get started. All right, so first item. If you're wondering, this mannequin used to be female, but I did some surgery and uh, now it's a male. So there we go. First item we have is a Fila jacket. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how I always pronounced it. I know some people say Fila, but that just seems weird. So hopefully this fits on the mannequin. It's gonna be a little bit too tall, but there we go. Zipper up, zip works, that's a good start. Has a, I guess that's a double collar, but all right. Let's have a look, see what we can see. Right, let's uh, try and shine the light over there a little bit better. I have my, oh, have my handheld light so you can see a little bit better too. Let me just make sure the camera is working. So here we are, this is the Fiedler jacket that I got. So it's like green, black with a bit of purple in there. It's very nice. Nothing wrong with it so far. The lighting in this room is awful today, I will admit. So. I do apologize if it goes dark at any point. Has this really cool logo on the shoulder here. Which is nice. So we're just going to check. Zip all works. There's no damage around the collar. The armpits are all pretty good. No damages there. Just check the pockets. Ooh, mannequin falling over. Uh, these uh, pockets don't have zips, so I didn't have to worry that pocket zips were damaged, which seemed to be uh, quite common. Um, everything would be fine, but then the uh, the zip pocket, uh, the pocket in the zip, the, the zip in the pocket wouldn't work properly. So yeah, everything seems to be pretty good with this one. So I am very happy with that. And then obviously the logo inside here all checks out. Uh, it's a 3XL in Japan. It's a 44 in the USA. Um, so we're gonna have to try and do a little bit of working out on that one. If we can't work out what the UK size is, I'll just have to use a tape measure and put up measurements, um, which is tough because a lot of people don't measure their body. So how would they know? They would have to say, oh, I like that jacket and then go find a tape measure to check. Um, which is why I don't really like it when I have to do that, but that is what you have to do with vintage. So yeah. Oh, we also have an inner tag, which has got nothing on it. So there we go. That is the first item. And, uh, I am going to say that with a jumper or jacket, whatever you want to call it like this, in this condition, I'm going to start this around £40, to be honest. It could be worth way more, or it could be worth way less. But if I get £40 for this, that is about half my money back on one item. Item number two. It's very creased. Now that's why I have a steamer, so I can decrease my clothes. How amazing. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a very old jacket. It's a Nike jacket with blue, white, and red. So those are the colors of many countries. This is a Nike international jacket. Is that the French country? Is that the French? Is that the French badge? I don't know. Let me have a look. But there we go, we have a vintage jacket, uh, an international jacket. I had a, uh, a Nike USA international jacket before, and that sold for like £80, so uh, that's a good start. Uh, it wasn't quite like this, it was uh, it was more like a uh, 
Olympic training jacket. It wasn't an actual Olympic one, but it was a training jacket. Um, but yeah, this is in really nice condition. It's like that kind of like silky feel, but it's not. It's probably like polyester or something. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We have a full zip. The zip works absolutely fine. We have tags in the back here. Uh, it's an XL. Um, I presume that is a vintage XL, so probably not accurate to today's size. This one actually nearly fits me, so it's probably more two to three XL, I would say. Uh, we have two pockets, one on either side. The zips do work on both of them. I have tested. Um, they all work absolutely fine. Um, the only thing, which is a minor, minor issue, is the sleeves are slightly off colour. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. Uh, but they're slightly off-white, so they've gone a little bit yellow. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is in very nice condition. And it's obviously very light, so this is one of the ones that would have been uh, the cheapest for me to get. Um, so I'm very happy with this. Uh, I'm probably going to list this around the £50 mark. I'm going to try and get the issues out of the sleeves. If that doesn't work, they'll just be listed um, with that on the listing. I really like this jacket and I think someone will pay £50 for this. Uh, but again, I could be talking out of my backside on this. Uh, so if you know any different, do let me know. I'm not one to give solid numbers and uh, say they are uh, definitive because sometimes you get stuff wrong and I would rather people know that that is the case. So yeah, I'm very happy with this jacket. I think this one will move pretty quickly, uh, but you never know, you never know. So yeah, I'm gonna get this one off and uh, get the next one on, let's go. All right, here we go, third item of the day. As you can see, this is a vintage Reebok in white. And I guess you would call this like light blue, cyan blue, something like that. My light is not cooperating with me today. It's facing the wrong way. So Reebok logo there. The zip is all functioning and tested. Uh, the pockets do not have zips again. So that is good. Uh, no issues there. We still have the neck tag, Reebok Sport and the size. It says size medium. Uh, I would say this is probably more on the large size, but I will have to do measurements and double check. Um, but yeah, all very nice. Uh, but yeah, there is literally nothing wrong with this jacket whatsoever. It's in perfect condition, which is great. Um, I don't think this is going to be as worth as much as, uh, as the last one. So I'm probably going to put this one up for about 35 um, and see what happens. It might sell. It might not. We might have to drop it down to about 30. Uh, but it's a really nice jacket. Um, if someone's going for that old 90s vibe. Um, yeah, very nice. If this fit me, I'd wear it. Because I think this is lovely. I do like this indeed. Next up, we have a Deodora. Now, that is a brand that you never see anymore. I used to wear a lot of Deodora when I was growing up. I loved it. Uh, but yeah, this is, um, I'm not sure whether this is men's or females, because it's small. Um, but yeah, very nice Deodora. It's like a greeny blue colour. And then obviously you have all of the detail, the yellow, the purple, and then the uh, striping down the side. Which is coming back into fashion. Having the uh, striping down the side like that. Very much so back in fashion. Uh, right now, I think Nike and Adidas both have designs like that. Not too over the top like this, but, you know, with their name going down the side. Um, yeah, this is in very nice condition. There's a little mark here, uh, but that will all wipe off. We have the uh, the tags in here. Deodora, very nice. And then UK28, it says, for the size. So... Um, I have measured this. It's not 28 chest size, so I'm not sure what that 28 refers to. I will have to try and find an old Deodora size chart to find out. Um, but that might be quite difficult to do um, because I don't know what year this is from. But yeah, very nice condition. Um, and it just about fits on this mannequin. So, And this is quite a small mannequin, to be fair. So... This is probably like a natural medium, maybe. I'm not sure. 
I'm very bad with size because I wear very large clothes because I'm a very large bloke. Um, small sizes confuse me. Like everything looks small to me. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is my favourite in terms of design. Um, I do believe this one is a female's jacket. Uh, because again, it is very short here. And, and that would be too short for a man. His belly button would be hanging out, which would be kind of weird. Uh, but I know that was fashion back in the day for girls to have their belly out, I guess you could say. Right, ladies in the chat, confirm or deny. Uh, but yeah, I think this is absolutely lovely. I really like this design. I wouldn't wear it. It's too much for me, but I really like this pattern. It's kind of like a a fir is it a fern fern tree? Like all that plant kind of. But then it's like purple and green, which is great. And then you've got the tree fall Adidas logo on the back. I think this is really nice. White logo on the front. Uh zip, that works perfect. <laughs> Let me just get the light on this so you guys can see this properly in the proper light. Lovely design. Lovely design that I would not wear. So yeah, nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's in great condition. Again, with the pricing on something like this, I I really don't know. It is an Adidas. It says it's a UK 14, which I presume is women's sizes. Um... So that's probably quite a big size for a woman, actually. A 14, maybe? I'm not sure. Again, I'm, I probably just offended half the female population in the country by saying that. So do forgive me if you are a 14. Um, I did just say that was quite large, but... Alas, I am not a female, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, pricing. I'm probably going to go around £35, £40 on this one, see what I can get. Okay, next up we have another Adidas jumper here. This is a nice vintage one that says, let's see, does it have the tag and everything? Yeah, it does. The old Adidas tag with the size US small. Uh, no UK size. Oh, GB 36 to 38. So again, we're going to have to try and work out those sizes. Maybe that's chest size, I'm not sure. Um, it's quite baggy on this... Uh, mannequin here so i would say it's probably a large xl something like that um two nice pockets either side uh so yeah this would have been a jacket where you could put a hood and long sleeves on of course this does not come with the long sleeves or the hood which is uh annoying um but i just really love this jacket so i picked it up i didn't care it had the trefoil logo on the back with this really nice green material um stitched into there and the Adidas logo, like, you could wear this nowadays, and that, that would look nice. Like, this one, honestly, isn't too far off modern design. Uh, you probably wouldn't have this line that goes around anymore, maybe. Or this green strip wouldn't be there. You'd just have the three stripes and the logo on the back. But yeah, I really like this. I really, really like this. Um, so I think this is men's, I would say. Um, everything's in good condition. Pockets don't have zips. Um, there's no staining. There's no pitting. There's no none of that. Um, this is a uh, very nice, very nice jumper, jacket, hoodie, X hoodie, long sleeve, now mid sleeve. <laughs> what would you call this? Because it's not short sleeve. I guess, is it short sleeve? No, nah, short sleeve's like up here, right? Mid sleeve. Yeah, let's go with mid sleeve, shall we? It's a mid sleeve jumper hoodie with no hood. I really, really like it. <laughs> right, next. Right, next up we have our first Puma jacket, jumper, zipper. This is a size XL. So this actually just about fits me if I put this on, um, which is nice. Puma, a little bit of dirt there uh, that's come off. We have zip pockets. I've not actually tested these, so I hope they work. Yep, I'll do that one after. 
Uh, but yeah, the main zip works absolutely fine. We have nothing wrong with the sleeves. Nothing wrong with the armpits in very nice condition. We have the Puma there. The, uh, the collar can come down. It's been designed so you can like fold this over if you don't want the collar up. Uh, but it looks kind of weird. Um, so I wouldn't advise doing that. But yeah, again, really nice jacket. Um, the orange is quite bright. But other than that, you could probably pull this off in 2021. Um, I would say it's on the more tamer of uh, designs from what I've bought uh, this time around. But yeah, I really like this again. Can you tell that I seem to like everything I bought? It's funny that, isn't it? Who would have thought that you end up buying stuff you actually quite like? Um, but there we go. Nice Puma jacket. Probably not the most expensive of jackets. I'll probably sling this up around $29.99. And it'll probably sell quite quick at that price. Because um, for an XL, nice jacket. Yeah, I think that'll sell quite quick at £30. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit higher actually thinking about it. Has this nice mesh on here. I don't know whether that helps with airing you out no because there's material underneath it um okay right we'll get the next one on the mannequin right these next two are more modern they have the qr code on the label i bought these because they still go for about 20 to 25 pounds on ebay um these are ones that i've actually been able to look up similar models because they are more modern uh these are very clean they were very light as well so i didn't pay much for them um maybe five pounds I've not done the maths on how much they weigh to how much I paid. Uh, but yeah, these are simply just Adidas rain jackets. I have a blue one and I have a black one that I'll show you after. Um, so yeah, this blue one is size uh, medium. This is a medium. It looks way bigger than a medium, but there we go. Um Maybe that's a US medium. Maybe this has come from the States where every size is actually two sizes larger than they say. Um, yeah, so there's literally nothing wrong with this. Uh, so this will go up for 20, 25 pounds and that will sell uh, probably around 20 pounds after um, I've sent offers and stuff. So very happy with that one. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. There's actually a uh, Packer Mac in the hood. Um, I think, yeah. So there's a rain hood in there as well, which actually adds to the value. I didn't even know that was in there. So, great. We have a hood. Same again. Well, it's not the same jacket. It's actually way thinner than the last one. Uh, but yeah, a modern Adidas rain jacket. This one's going to go up for $19.99. I think that's a fair price. Um, let's see what the size is. See, this one says large but it's about the same size as the last one so i am in two minds about the size of the last one i think the last one was more of a large so yeah i'll do some measurements and check uh but yeah this is a climber proof jacket so like i said this is a modern one um which is good because i was happy to pay for this at that price um because i can get my money back quite easily and again 20 pounds if I sell this for £20, that's a quarter of what I pay for everything. So those two jackets, if I can get £40, £50 out of two of them, out of the two of them, then that's like two thirds of what I paid back in two little items. So um, that was my thinking when I put these in my bag. So yeah, nothing special about this one. So I'll get it off the mannequin and get the next one on. Right, so next up... This is a strange one, and I'm probably going to need some help from you guys on this one. So I bought this purely for the design. I thought this design was awesome, and uh, I could really see a lot of people wearing this, to be honest. It's very out there and crazy, and but blue and white is very popular. Um, it's uh, got a little bow tie here, which is kind of, you know, interesting. has two zips, has uh, little cords at the bottom to pull it tight. Um, has elastic on the sleeves, 
so you don't get cold. But the only thing I don't know is the brand. So the brand is, let's get this up here so you can see it. Now, I'm no French expert, but I'm pretty sure that's French. Matin Bleu, Matin Bleu, Matin Bleu, size 38. So I couldn't find anything online for this jacket. Maybe I'm just doing a bad job, but there we go. So this was an oddball. Uh, this could be like crazy designer worth loads of money or absolute garbage trash. This could be like Primark from the 90s or the 80s, you know what I mean? Like cheap, but it feels pretty good. Actually feels a lot better quality than a lot of the other stuff uh, that we've gone through so far today. Um, the zip works great. Has a very nice interior, so this will definitely keep you warm at the firework display this year. Um, again, on price, I'm not even going to say a number because this honestly could range between like the 15, 20 pound mark all the way up to something stupid if it is something rare or popular or whatever, but I am not sure. Like I said, this could easily be just a trash brand, but I thought it looked cool. Okay, if it didn't have this little bow tie and it was my size, I would definitely wear that okay but it doesn't fit me so i can't sorry uh yeah right next up we got an interesting one coming up okay right here we go as you can see this is a nike jumper with a zip that goes all wait what's this oh look at that it's the polish football flag polska <laughs> I somehow managed to get this amongst the hustle and bustle of everyone. Again, they probably weren't Polish and because they were buying for themselves, they didn't want this jacket, but I did. I sure did. Here we go. So yeah, very nice, white, clean, crisp, nothing wrong with it. Pockets with fully functioning zips. No one's spilt the English breakfast baked beans down the front, which is fantastic. I don't know what size it is actually. Let's have a look. XL. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Zip all fully functioning. It's got like this kind of green down the down the arm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've not looked it up, but I'm pretty sure that's the football logo. Um Let's double check. Could be wrong. Might be like, might be like, I don't know, baseball or something. Poland national football team. There we go. Happy with that one, indeed. So I don't know what that's going to go for, but that should be a pretty good price, I would say. So I'm very happy <laughs> with finding that one. I can't believe no one got it before me, to be honest. When I when I pulled it out at first, I thought, oh, it's Germany. And then I went, no, that's definitely not Germany. Pretty sure Germany has a black logo. And then I turned it around and I saw Polska and I was like, yeah, Poland. <laughs> right. Another really good one coming up. So, well, actually, I say that it's the last one. Last one coming up. All right, last but not least, this is the one I spent the most on. This is a Adidas puffer jacket. Uh, this weighs about 700 grams, so I would have paid about 10 pounds for this, but it is in fantastic condition with nothing wrong with it. And uh, it is a football one as well. So uh, I've done a little bit of research and I believe this is an Italian club, uh, maybe like a local club. I'm not 100% sure I will have to do some more in-depth um, analysis online. Uh, but this is a UK 39 to 40. Um, so we'll have to look that up to see what that size correlates to. But yeah, for £10, I thought, you know, I obviously didn't know it was £10 at the time, but I know it's £10 now because I weighed it. Um, for that price, I'm, I'm quite happy because I'm pretty sure I can get some good money out of this because this is a really nice jacket. Um, 
So yeah, that was the heaviest item that I purchased this time round. And if I didn't pay for this, my whole lot would have only cost about £78. So yeah. There we go. We have the zip that goes all the way down. All that good stuff, no damage. I can't, it's really hard to see because this mannequin is uh, too short. There we go. So it's almost like the managers. There you go, look, I puffed it out now, look. <laughs> puffed it right out. It's like the Michelin man in there now. Uh, it's like the manager's jacket, you know, they'd wear on the sideline while his team's playing. I really like it. Anyway, that's it. I don't know what I'm going to price this at, so I'm not even going to say a number. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did I mess up and waste £88? Or did I spend good money on good clothing? Do you think I'm going to make a decent profit? Or do you think I'm going to go bankrupt? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have and you would like to see more kilo sales, leave a thumbs up. Just let me know if you like this kind of content. First time I've ever done this. It's different to anything I've done before. So you have to let me know with the thumbs up uh, or in the comments. So there we go. I am going to leave you guys now because I have 5% battery. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.